welcome back to the channel. So that was a new Conqueror snapshot and this is Rigid Audio's pad therapy. So when I am creating presets, there is a lot of pads and soundscapes. So that is definitely kind of my thing. So when I saw this on Plugin Boutique for five quid, I thought, right, pad therapy has got my name written all over it. It is completely different from the way that any other NKI works. I really need to demonstrate it as I'm kind of playing and, and go over it because it is really unusual. There's three windows. There's the main one, there's the edit, and then the library. And the library is just snapshots in a different order. So the snapshots are up here, um, and these are in alphabetical order, and the library is the same snapshots. So there's 128, but they're in a different order. Uh, so the other the other kind of quite nice one is uh, time-lapse as well. So maybe have a look at time-lapse and I'll kind of show you how this works. It's actually quite difficult to see some of these controls because they are, they, they kind of really needed to make these a bit brighter. So the A section has four pads, the B section has one pad and the C section has a noise of some description. So there is uh, 64 samples for each. So there's 64 pads for this one and the same 64 for each of these. So uh, like I said, you can see these have all been set to 57. So you can either click here and you could make that 17 or you can cycle through them there. So if you, for instance, if I wanted all of these to be um, kind of 22, if you shift and click, it will make these all 22 or shift and then 21, 20. So that is a very quick way to just get these all the same. So we can see um, if I, so that's what it sounds like with pad 20. I reload this and we'll see what it sounds like with pad 57. And the aftertouch is set to increase the flare and the pitch. So that is me, I'm using my S49 uh, Mark II and it has aftertouch. Uh, and you've also got a flanger and a phaser that you can switch on as well. So as you can see, there's kind of three states. There's an A, a B and a C state and that's what this is. So this is like a sequencer for the, st the three states. So if we go to edit, you can see you've got your A, your B and your C state. So you've got three for pad one, three for pad two and three for the noises. So that is your A, B and C kind of state. So you can see that these are completely different pads and some have got reverb. Like I said, there's no volume on this one and there's no volume on noise two, have nothing switched on as well. So this is how it works. So if I go back to main uh, and you'll see if I press a key, it's gonna cycle through A and then in this case, it's going A, C, A, C, A, C, and just going through them like that. So it's not actually using the B sample. Uh, so it's not actually using the B section. And the speed relates to, so if we switch this on, we can use the mod wheel to adjust the speed that this will go through each little uh, part of the sequence. So if I speed that right up, you can see it's... And then you can slow it down to whatever you want. So it is very unusual, and I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. You can tell me in the comments if you have, but... Um, because like I said, there's very few controls. Uh, and if you want to stop it, you can just stop it there and it will go back to the start. Uh, so you've got a volume, you've got three types of filter and you've got a redox, which is kind of like a lo-fi setting. And then you have your master volume and then you've got a glide, a volume and a reverb for each pad. The same for the noise, but with a high pass filter as well. And you've got a randomizing dice for the presets and you've got a randomizing dice for the kind of settings got flare pitch 
and flanger. You could switch the noise off, pad two off, pad one off and on there. So, and then you've got an attack release as well for each of those. As far as the mod wheel is concerned, you can apply it to lots of different things. So you can, you can see there on the main page that I can actually switch that on and switch that on and it will adjust the volume. Uh, so I'll switch that off and then I can now adjust the volume for both pads using the mod wheel. And obviously you could change this on the fly. Go back to edit and then you'll, you'll be able to see everything that you can adjust. So you've got the volumes for um, pad one and pad two and then the volumes for the noise as well. It can be applied to the mod wheel plus also the flare and the pitch. We could switch on say like a kind of cross pattern on and just see what this sounds like. So it's quite cool, and like I said, you can just do this on the fly, so you could, you know, muck around with these as you're playing it. And you could also switch on uh, the speed as well. And you can actually switch on the flare and the pitch. And then we could bang on a bit of phaser. You can you can create your own pattern here, you see. So it says at the moment it goes A C A C A C A C. Right. So we could go A C B. So you just click it, and it's very hard to see with some of my shitty eyesight. This needs to be addressed, I think, at some point. So, uh, in fact, we can go A, B. So, we can go A, B, C. C, A, uh, B. And then A, C. So, we'll see what that sounds like. So, if you go back to edit page, it will show you there's a little arrow. So, if you see this bit here, you see, this will show you what it's going to go to next. So, this, is gonna, this arrow is going to go A, B, C. So, it's going to go down and then it's going to go C, uh, whatever it was and then it's going to go back to A I think no it's going to yeah so it's going to go A B C C and then A B A Right, so it's going back, so it's played C twice, and then it's going to go back, and it'll show you, it'll go right, it'll bypass B, and it'll go up to A. And then it'll go A to B. And then A to C. So it is bonkers. So you kind of always know what's going on. just by looking at either this arrow or if you're on so if you're on the main page you can look at this if you're on the edit page you can see this and it'll tell you what's happening next so this is going to go it's going to bypass B and go straight to C here as well it's showing you it's cycling through there as well so put the speed up it'll show you so that's cycling through a and it goes to b and then c so it, it, it tells you there as well what's happening so i just wish they had made this a bit lighter because i am really struggling to see this or or use some color i mean there's just there's no color in it it's all this kind of this blue other than that, I mean, I think it's great. I have created some snapshots, which will not be a surprise to anybody. So this is Aurora Borealis. 
and it's based on the uh, Aurora uh, preset. You can actually rename these, but they will overwrite the one. So if you go to the li if you rename that and save it, it will overwrite that in the library. So that you you can't name that the same as your snapshot, or it will overwrite the original one. Bit of a shame. So I've got to always have the preset name that it's based on, because there's no in it for you to start off with. Uh, maybe it could do with that as well. Just something with like pad one, pad one, noise one, uh, and just start off with that and, and kind of with nothing switched on. This is the kind of Blade Runner one. It's very difficult to kind of try and do it. So if you want to stop this cycling through, you just switch mod wheel on and it will, it will not, the sequence will not go. It will just stay on A. So it might be a bit easier to play this, so. Tied up to the noise, so the module is uh, is on the noise volumes all three. So well, I'll play it without the sequence, and I'll play it with the sequence. Right, so we'll play it with the with the sequence on. That was like the hardest Blade Runner patch I've ever done. Right, so we'll try some of the other ones. We'll try uh, Cloud Formation. And uh, I'm quite sure what the mod wheel is going to do. Uh, let's see if it's anything. So yeah, the mod wheel is adjusting the mod, the pad, the volume for pad two. Time Traveller. And we've got the mod wheel on the volume as well for, let's see what, yeah, so we've got the, the volume for the, for section A and the pitch. So yeah, pretty cool. I do like this. Try Dark Crystal. So the flares on this one. So the pitch is on 
aftertouch and then the flares on the mercury. And it's going A, B, A, B, C, B, A, C. So yeah, so that is a quick look at pad therapy. Uh, you can get this on Plugin Boutique this month for five pounds, uh, and then you can obviously get Selena for free as well. So like I said, if you watched the video, I recommended that you get Selena as the orange vocoder is a complete pile of rubbish. The rigid best of bundle, uh, what was it, 19 pound? Two VSTs and uh, the rest of them are all contact uh, NKIs. When I looked at the website, I, the, the product page doesn't actually have all the products. So there's actually more products in the shop page. I got some other free stuff as well from them. Interference, Cinematrix. So they're all free to download. There's about another three or four freebies that you can download and they're pretty good. So uh, as usual, if you are enjoying these videos, please like, subscribe, share and comment and I will see you in the next one.